hi guys how you all doing i hope you all are doing just so okay welcome back to don't graphics and today we are going to be looking at how to design a fitness logo on an android smartphone using a pixel app application and also how to mock it up on a photo p application to look exactly like this awesome right i guess so so today I'll be showing you a simple step-by-step -step guide on how you can achieve this kind of logo design on your Pixel app application and then you proceed to also mark it up on the photo P application but then if you are coming across our channel for the first time please kindly subscribe turn the notification bell on so that you're always informed whenever we put new amazing videos thank you so much without wasting much of your time I think let's get started so I just want to delete this text then I go up here on my image on my background size to change the background height to about 852 then I go to my color background color I make it black after doing that I'm going to go next to click on the shape option and I'm going to insert a square shape like this then I make it to look like a triangle a rectangle sorry and I increase the radius completely to 100% as you can see we have a nice shape like this go to color change the color to this few red and copy the, the shape and go to color change the color of the copy shape to white as you change it go to size reduce the size and bring it here and use plenty position it did not work so we're going to use position to arrange it to fit perfectly inside the first shape so as you can see we have something like this with us we can even reduce the size further to just about 30 then we use our position to make sure that it's plumped up so well after having this click on your layer select the two shapes by clicking here and proceed to match them up all by also clicking here so are you sure you want to match so we're gonna match this it's matched up and the next thing we are going to do is to go to our erase color and we enable it so after enabling our erase color increase the tolerance a bit so after increasing the tolerance click on the check mark and come now to crop as you can see we have an option here crop so we are going to crop this exactly like this then we click on the check mark to continue so that we can have at least something like this with us now go to relative position make sure that it's on the middle but then go to color and change the color to white so we're going to leave it at white okay guys so after achieving this first uh, shape we're going to click further on shapes again to add another shape so we're going to begin adding other shapes here and we're clicking on this square shape just position it carefully and reduce the size the length sorry to something just like this okay this is too small so we can take that again let's go to shape add a shape Then you carefully position it like this. Okay, good. So let's click back on layer to select the small shape that we are just from creating now use your position button to make sure that it plumps up well 
with the first ship. Okay, fine. So this is good. The next thing we are going to do is to click again on shapes. Select. A square. Then we convert it into something smaller. Just like this. So you can use your position. Okay, great. So this is awesome. Let's continue. We're going to click on the shape again. Okay, this is too, too big. So let's create again. That's rather too small. So just be patient here, guys. Just be patient. I'm really sorry for all these repetitive processes. But then it's what it the outcome is going to be awesome. So let's just be patient. Okay. I think this is fine. So let's bring it closer to the first shape and arrange it carefully using our position button. Now the next thing we are going to do is to click on shapes again and this time we are going to choose a circle Then we reduce the circle just to a small dot just a, a, into a small dot and use your position you can use your position button to place it closer to the first element can you see this so this is what we really wanted to achieve it's awesome it's just so okay we're now going to click on layer and we select these three or these four shapes this one this this and this so the last four shapes that were just from pretty, we are going to select all of them by clicking here. Then we select, excluding the big one. So we select all these and mesh them up together. And after meshing them together, just copy it. And as you can see, we have a copied version. Now go to rotation, rotate it completely. Then use your position button to also align it on this other side of this letter U shape. Good. Such that we have something like this. Okay, I think it went inside too much. So we can try to bring it out a little. Fine. So this is okay. Now what are we going to do now? We're going to bring in the name of this fitness uh, club. So let's go first of all to layer. Select everything and push it up a bit. So that is standing this way. Then we're going to proceed now to text. Click on text. Put a new text and write ultra so the first thing we are writing is ultra that's the name of the fitness club then you go to your color and let's give it this sky blue color then you can increase it in size go to font and we're looking for the device font Okay, fine. So we can increase it further in size. Then use our spacing. 
let's reduce it a bit and space it out to about 30. Then use your position, relative position to tack it to the middle. And after tacking it to the middle, the next thing we are going to do is to click once again on the ultra. We are going to copy it. As you follow the tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you are not left out when amazing contents like this are released. Thank you so much. So we are going to double tap this text to edit it into fitness. So it's ultra fitness. And we reduce the size of this. After reducing the size, we're going to change the color to white. So that there should be some form of color blending. So let's just leave it by 35. Then use your native position to tack it also to the middle. And try to bring it up closer a bit. And look at what we are going to do now. We are going to copy this. Okay, so we're going to, let me just first of all go to layer. And we're going to copy this. This element that we created. We're going to copy it. And as you can see, we have a copied version of it. Then bring it closer to fitness and reduce the size drastically. So we're going to reduce the size and try to plumb it up. So that it stands just like this then copy it as well use position so the position button will help you to move faster and also try to align it carefully down here then go to your rotation and rotate this back so I'm going to rotate this to zero zero then we also plumb it we also plumb it to fall exactly on where ultra belong, uh, begins so that there should be the respect of the principle of alignment now we are going to tap on fitness let's reduce the size a bit to about 30 then go to your spacing and space it further to about 50 click on the check mark to continue then come back to relative position and tap it if you fall on the middle so let's try to adjust this using the manual position button okay good all right guys so after achieving all of this the next thing we are going to do is just to click on shapes once again and this time around we are going to choose a circle then reduce the size of the circle to this carefully drag it and align it here Okay, so you can even use relative position to tack it to the middle so that we have something like this and with this it's a wrap on our ultra fitness logo design kindly subscribe to the channel as we proceed into the next phase of this logo design which is actually how we are going to mock it up on our photo p application so come with me as we begin mocking up our design so we're going to save our design by first of all clicking on the background so we're going to change the background to transparent before saving our design so let's save the design now after changing the background to transparent let's save it out so it's saved and we're going to go now to our web browser our chrome browser sorry to launch the photo p application so i'm going to type photo p this is a nice website or app where you can use to mock up a lot of stuff. So I encourage you to always practice this website. Now, once you launch the website, I would love you to click on 
open from computer then I choose files and I'm going to go to the folder where I have the markup I will share the markup with you so don't worry about that so which mockup do I choose here? I'm going to choose let's choose the Siva. Oh that did not work, so let's take that again. Let's go to I will choose this 3D brick wall markup. Alright, so I'm going to share the markup with you on the link that I will leave on the video description so this is the markup and once it, it's loaded and open just click on this layer panel to start editing where you can place your markup good so now we are going to click here where you see your logo so click on that small dark square two times and after clicking on it click on this eye icon to hide the original work that was there so that we can place us and after doing that click back on the layer so that you can see where to place your markup your logo so we are going to click now on file click on file then take open and place and after clicking on open and place go to files then we are going to choose the logo that we are just from designing on the pixel app application increase the size just to size it up you know to make it more easily then click back on file and take save as smart object then you wait alright so this application or this photop.com responds so fast or so slow depending on your network connectivity in either case there are no troubles at all just be patient so now i'm going to click on after waiting for a while you're going to click now on this 3d break the first element once and you wait for it to convert so in a while we're going to see our logo being marked out awesome so our logo is marked up it's ready for us to download and to use this is so simple it doesn't take any time at all and how are we going to export our markup by simply clicking on file then you take save okay let's take export as so i'm exporting as png just click on png and wait so this is our logo and if you look down here you will see a button save button so just click on the save button and uh, you watch the art so they are going to show us an art we are going to watch the art and it's going to download this apart just hold on the art will finish in a while and our logo is going to be downloaded I'm going to download it's downloading awesome so our logo is downloaded let's check the results open and behold this is our fitness logo designed on the pixel lab application and marked up using the photo p application i believe we've all learned one or two things in this tutorial and please kindly like the tutorial to the tutorial share it also and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content See you some other time. Goodbye.